you know, putting together the exhibition for 142 um, was sort of both, it happened, uh, it took a long time to happen, it also happened really quickly. So, um, um, I started working with David in 2016 um, in the workshop to make some prints, and Jill and I had wanted to work together for quite a few years. And I think she, she saw my first exhibition at Art on Paper in 2011, and, you know, we, we started already talking about the possibility of making something in the workshop together at that point, you know. So five years later, you know, um, the opportunity finally arises to, to make some prints and we, and we kind of jumped on it. Um, it was really, I spent about three weeks in the workshop. Um, and the prints that we, that we used at 142, uh, 422A, um, those prints um, were part of that, that sort of initial, that first collaboration we had in the, in the workshop. Um, so, you know, on the one hand, it took a very long time. On the other hand, the opportunity to show at 142 was something that Amay basically, you know, Amay, Amay almost phoned me up and said, listen, you know, we're, hey, we're opening this, this, uh, this, <laughs> this space and, um, you know, we want to do something that's, that's a bit more project space based. And, and I had been working on, on some ideas for uh, a while, but, you know, it, it also, it, it, so in the end, it came together very quickly. Yeah, Dolce Fendente is a, um, it's actually an Afrikaans word, or it's sort of, um, <laughs> it, uh, it isn't, it's in the Afrikaans dictionary, but clearly it's, it's a word of Italian origin, and I was, I was interested uh, in this word, uh, um, Juanita, my, my, my partner and I were sitting around, and, and I collect dictionaries, and she, she was going through the dictionary just reading random, you know, and so we came across this word, Dolce Fernente and the, the sort of oddity of it being an Afrikaans word was something that, that, that struck me. Um, and it reminded me of, of you know, Dolce Fernente means uh, the, the sweetness of doing nothing. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you have a group of people who are called the Dolce Fernentes, the people who sit out to the, in, the, in the coffee shops and do nothing. And I, and I was reminded of, 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 you know, growing up in Pretoria and, and doing exactly that, you know. And so there's a wonderful space that you enter when you're in that sort of, you know, reality where really the, the joy of doing nothing is, 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 is a wonderful space to, to think about doing things and to, to think about making things and think about those things in ways that are not connected so directly to, to um, you know, economy or or whatever the sort of, you know, the, the status quo is. One, one has a very free way of thinking and, and, and being in, in, that, in that state. Um, and I, it's a state that I wanted to return to. Um, and so, again, you know, the show that, that came so quickly also is the culmination of so many different kind of ages of, of thinking and, and ways of thinking that, 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 uh, that combine, you know. Mm. Um, I completely slowed down and, and I did not, I refused to adhere to the sort of, you know, we, we have these kind of rat races that we put ourselves into with every show that we have. And I mean, we have so many shows, obviously. And you know, in every show we have to have the PDF ready and the this and the that and everybody has to be there and there's certain things and, you know, and you kind of get caught up in this, in this, in this constant, you know, thing. And I, and I wanted to also make sure that I, that, that didn't happen, you know. So, I mean, we spent, so we spent a long time not, not doing those things and rather focusing on, on the experience of having the show, you know. It was such a special show, it's the first show in that space, you know, and I, and I really wanted it to be a celebration of a, of a way of, of thinking about what we do that, that's less sort of um, controlled and more up to us to, to, to be free and, and, and really find our freedom in, in, in how, what it is that we're doing. Um, obviously, there's a lot of pressure around you know, culture and art at the moment. So, so I, I really wanted the show to be like a, a sort of a, like a refreshing breath of, of, of air in a way, you know. Hmm. Look, uh, bio, the bio biography is a construct, you know? And so, you know, I, 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 I function from, I, I function from that, that place. Uh, but, you know, the personal is also the political, right? So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm using uh, this as, as a construct to speak about something else now. Um, and so it's very, it's very um, 
it's my way to be able to get people to think about vulnerability. You know? And so if, it is, if it's necessary that they think about me as being, you know, oh, he's so vulnerable in this exhibition, fantastic, you know. But it's not really about me as much as it, it is, well, I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't want to say that. Obviously there's, you know, but the, the, just the notion of vulnerability, that you walk into a gallery, a place of culture, and you feel that there is vulnerability, there's great vulner vulnerability in this space. It's not a given that the space will be here, or that the work will be here, or that the artists will be here, or that the viewers will be here, the collectors, etc., etc., etc. And so the framers and, you know, the paper makers and the print makers and this, you know, none of this is a given. It's not that we, that we, some, we have fought for all of this. No? And so I feel it is a time to be able to, I felt with this show that I wanted to um, have, have the viewer come in and be able to experience or feel a certain vulnerability, a sort of, Mm. fleetingness um, and it's a way of, of for, not forcing but let's say kind of helping helping them along to appreciate things a bit more mm. I, th I think the, the I, uh, I, I, I love kids reactions you know <laughs> my friend's kid tried to try to steal some of the shotgun shells you know that's a great compliment you know I like that. If you if you wanna if you wanna you know if if a, if a three year old wants to steal some of your sculpture, I think that's that's kind of great. <laughs> and then on the other hand, I mean, there were sort of more on the sort of critical front or the academic front. You know, there, there were people who got really um, excited about the complexity of the show. You know, because it is quite a complex kind of you know mengelmus, like a conglomeration of 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 ideas that you know under this this sort of Again, this kind of thing that reigns in the interpretation, the title. So, you know, um, people had real fun with the show. You know, I, I, I heard stories, you know, I, I, it's, it's, it's difficult for me to, to see people's reactions unless I hide, which I do. I do hide and try to see what people are, you know. Um, but um, people sat down, you know, which was amazing. Um, on the opening night, we, we showed the film, you know, um, that I had never shown before. Um, the thing that what was amazing to me was um, the moment the projector starts running and it's not video, it's film, it's different. The, that, the feeling of, of film is different. So, you know, we run the projector and everybody stops and sits down. Just like we used to do when we were doing experimental film nights like 20 years ago in New York or wherever, you know. You put the projector, you, you switch on the projector and people go quiet and they sit down. Wonderful, you know. So I think in a kind of a body reaction there was that. Um, and then generally I found that the, the audience response was, they felt like for the space they were really happy to have such a space in Johannesburg. They felt it was really important. And that to me is wonderful, not just for my own show, but for, you know, for, for what it is that we get to go out and, and see. You know? Because I mean ultimately, you know, I, I want to be able to go out and see, see things. And so it's nice that there's variation, you know. Yeah. That's great. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I, I'm, so, I'm still so in love and excited with those works, you know. Because it's been such a, it's, uh, I mean, it just took so long, you know. It took so long. So um, my blue period is, a, is, a, is clearly a satirical piece. You know, I love satire and art. I can't, I, and it's so lovely to... It's very tough to be funny when you're making abstract, you know, compositions, you know. It's possible, but there are very few people who walk up to a, you know, a, essentially a kind of constructivist piece and, and uh, you know, start laughing. I'm one of those, but uh, it's, it was, it's been so much fun to be able to kind of, you know, move into, through sculpture and installation, into, into objects, you know. Um, of course, I'm, you know, my, I guess my, I'm still forming my view on objects, but you know, I've I've had my genes from my twenties in in my closet for, I guess, seventeen years now. So you know, um, uh, I wore four pairs. I kept them all. 
that felt important to me. I was doing, you know, I was doing grunt work really, and, and I was sort of, you know, finding my way in the world. And, and so I kept all my genes, and I knew that they would, they would somehow, maybe one day, I could make something out of them. I had a fantastic sculpture teacher. Um, his name was is, is Toshi Odate. And he made a sculpture when I saw a sculpture he made where he kept every single pair of shoes that his, that his boy wore until he was, I think, 18 or something. It was such a moving piece, you know. So I've always, I've always at the back of my mind had this idea that maybe there could be at some point something, some way where I can use these genes. Um, and the right opportunity came around with this, with this exhibition. It was the first one. And so I knew, okay, you know, here we go. This is it. Um, so yes, the, the genes are there, and then the you know um, the hangers are very important. Those are those are the sculptural works in that in that um, installation. Um, those are um, they're wire hangers that um, are you know, they're they're made out of platinum platinum wire. Those are exhibition copies, so they're made out of steel wire. But the but the the artwork is a is a uh, it's called the Francis Herman Mac. It's a it was a and that's the name of the Scott, the, the, the wire hanger. Um, so, you know, um, the jeans are hanging on platinum wire hangers uh, on a ladder, the ladder that we used to install the show. Um, and then I've, I've, ro I've rolled up a, an American flag and, and put it on top of the ladder. Um, it's obviously something about, you know, getting on top of the ladder, etc., etc. So, I mean, you know. Um, but, um, yeah, that's uh, it's, it's 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 autobiographical, but it's, uh, it's it's again it's it's, it's it is also political and, and of our time, I suppose. Yeah. Time is a big theme in this exhibition, you know. I mean, just generally, you know, sort of the time we live in, the time we you know, time it took to make the work, um, time it took to to to. To not make the work. I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of that there and kind of contrasts and in, in things that happen really quickly and things that happen very slowly, things that happen once and things that never happened that should have happened. You know, these are all kind of ways of thinking of of, of the situation we find ourselves in. Song sculpture. Um, um, I wanted to uh, when when Amay told me about um, when she phoned me and asked me to to do this exhibition. I think we had about a month or a month and a half, you know? um, and 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 that it felt so much like my first exhibition again. You know, um, when I had my first exhibition with art on paper, I had I think I had two months to do the whole show, and it was kind of that you know thing of well either you do it or you don't, and so this was lovely because it was again a sort of a um, there was a there was a challenge. You know, I was at home at the time, and I looked around my house thinking. Uh, okay, what can I do? What can I use? You know? I use my guitars. You know, um, I wanted to make a, I wanted to make a, a kind of acoustic accompaniment to the space. Um, I wanted the space to be. Um, I knew that I wanted the space to be a, a, a sort of a respite from from the daily grind or whatever. You know, um, that if you come into the gallery, you you, you can you can exhale. You know? Um, and so an important part of that was to, to create a kind of a, a harmonious soundtrack to the, to, the, to the space. And so I wanted to make a sculpture that would, that would function autonomously to, to make, make sound. And so in my room I had the guitar and I had a, I had a, a you know, a, a, a fan, an oscillating fan. And, and then I, I had a tea bag, you know. And uh, that same tea bag is the is the tea bag I used in this in this ex in this in this build of the sculpture. So it was really fun. I just started sort of playing really, um, and 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 trying to find ways to to make an, a, 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 a sound or a song that would I wouldn't have to be there to play the instrument, but at the same time, it would be compelling to listen to over over time the duration of the exhibition. Um, and it's it's it's. It's wonderful how quickly that can happen, you know. Just by five moving parts, that's already quite a lot, you know. If you think of, let's say, composition or you know, it's five instruments, you can. It's wonderful. There's so much. You know. mm.
I think that you know, it's it's. Um, I think it's very difficult to position yourself in a in a landscape that's con constantly changing. But you have to. You've got to make a stand. You know. And so you know where I've positioned myself with this exhibition is to present a consistent output of shall we say, um, experimental work, um, work, work that is free of constraints in terms of, you know, it's, dr it's work that dreams, it's work that's never really adhered to the status quo, not interested in the um, flavor of the day, if you wish. And it presents that, you know, it's work that, that, that uh, some of it's from 2008 to 2006. It's, you know, it's it's a long, it's a while. So I've positioned, I've positioned myself with this exhibition in that way. You know, my work, you know? um, and and it's a statement in that sense of of not of in, it is a statement of intent, but it is a statement of of um, history also, you know? of of continued involvement and in 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 places that. Um, people don't necessarily, at the time, that they, no, nobody thought that they were important, you know. Um, and that's wonderful, you know. It's a great place to be, you know. And it, I think it's also, it's also, you know, the posi positioning, if you wish, or you know, it's a, it's it's the first show that that um, you know I've done with David that is that is brand new work, if you wish. Um, and um, it, it, it certainly, it certainly kind of solidifies that 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 relationship we have together. You remember? I mean, it, it came out of the prints, you know. In a way, the work that that is in here, you know, all of the works sort of relate back to the prints in a way. And the prints have informed some of the decisions. And there's a confidence that comes with 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 having made prints with at the workshop that I think is. It's really interesting, and it, it was amazing to see how that spilled back into my into my studio practice. Um, and so, you know, it is a it is a new it is a new kind of venture for me. I'm in a different part of my career now, if you wish, than I was two years ago. Um, and I'm really excited. Like, I'm just super excited because the technical the technical kind of challenges that I can you know occupy myself with in the workshop. And the sort of support that comes through 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 David working with David and and um, you know just sort of the the kind of um, you know, the not caring about just just experiment you know it's it's that's what we do it's lovely you know so I'm very excited you know I, I can't really answer for the whole thing but I'm very excited about where the work is at the moment and how it's going to be um, developed you know. I certainly feel like in my own practice, like you know, branching out into sculpture and into installation again, and, and, and bringing back some of the things from my past, like film and video and you know, music and things like this. It's all, it's all great, you know. Yeah.